This is Twit. Among the back, just referring briefly to Equifax, I picked up an interesting conversation over breakfast the second day of this private security conference um, that was something that hadn't occurred to me when in all the discussions we've had about Equifax, um, there is among the upper end security community a clear I would I'm, I don't I don't want to say knowledge but it's it's cuz it doesn't quite c- clear the bar of being knowledge but it is believed that this was China mm. that performed the Equifax attack that this was not some opportunistic random you know hacker in you know somewhere but that this was state sponsored and that the 143 million of us who Americans whose personal information was disclosed are probably not in the kind of immediate danger we were, would be if the goal were to sell this information on the gray market. Now, maybe that will eventually happen. But but the, the theory of this is that if this was China state sponsored attack. The goal was to obtain the the very private personal identity information of specific individuals, government employees, corporate uh, higher ups, you know, C level uh, people, for well to enhance the and increase the power and success of targeted attacks against them. So, you know, rather than all this information just being made widely publicly available, um, there may be more to it than that. And and it, it may not have the kind of sweeping effect it could have, because in some in some senses, if it's a state sponsor, then maintaining the privacy of that is of more value to them. And also then, you know, everyone running around locking our reports while that's what we have to do, it suggests that there won't be many attacks against those locks as a consequence of this, but rather this was a, a deliberate personal information database acquisition by a state actor. Now, th- there's a couple of interesting things about that. One, uh, typically when you hear state actor and combination with any sort of attack, it means it was some sort of advanced attack. I think that's that's one of the things about this particular breach that didn't bring a lot of state actor talk at the beginning because this wasn't an advanced breach. This was not an APT. This was just a company that didn't know how to run security. But that right. doesn't mean it's not state-sponsored. State what exactly. lends credence to this, however, is I've spent the last two weeks crawling all the usual spots looking for an increase of credit card numbers and identities on sale, and I haven't really seen it. It's been sort of the, the regular flow of traffic, and you would figure – if this was for gain by selling IDs. Because it's time sensitive. It's very as time sensitive. Are, as people are locking things down. Precisely. Yes. And I haven't seen a great increase. I'm, I'm, uh, so either they didn't get a lot of information or, as you mentioned, this was a particularly a targeted attack. They were going after some very specific people and the rest of us were collateral damage. Uh Right. And, and again, because Equifax just, just, had no just controls, swept up, swept up in yeah. the in, in the acquisition. Yeah. Yep. But but as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, if you're not listening and you you don't have any controls in place to see what's actually leaving your network, then that makes breach recovery so much more difficult because we don't know. I mean, it could literally have been one person or no people that they took the data of, or it could have been all 143 million. That's just right. that's unacceptable. Right. My goodness. And it just, I mean, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, we, we've already heard some of the details about how this happened, how it was a struts vulnerability, how they had at least one server that had default admin and uh, and uh, password credentials. We yep. know now that they actually did get hacked back in March and they didn't do anything about it. Uh, so yep. that could have been seen as a dry run for this. We know that their security executives had no business being security executives, one of which was receiving like a $3.2 million salary per year Ugh. to do nothing, literally nothing. Um, and and then, uh, of course, this last week, there was the embarrassing and yet somehow very appropriate advisory that 
they had been forwarding people to a site that wasn't theirs. So yeah, yeah it's it's all uh, all around good news, Steve. I think.